Hello there. I'm Zoe. What are your names? How old are you? Hi, Zoe. I'm Bucky, and this is my brother Felix. We're just over two months old, and we're adopted. Our new cat dad is Mark. He seems so nice and wants to take good care of us. Do you know what happens here? Where are we? This is Dr. Garcia's hospital. She's a veterinarian and will make sure you're both healthy. Mark is a great cat dad. I know your older brother Jinx. He comes here too. Will you stay with us? We've never been to a hospital before. Hi, Mark. It's nice to see you again. Who do we have here? This is Bucky and Felix. I just adopted them from the shelter today, and I think they may need some vaccinations. It's great you've brought them to see me right away, especially with Jinx at home. I've received their records from the shelter. You are right. It shows here that they have not been tested or vaccinated against feline leukemia virus, also known as FELV. It's common practice to screen kittens for FELV, especially if they are coming from a shelter. What does this mean? My cousin had leukemia as a child. Can I catch the virus from the kittens? No, this virus only infects cats. FELV is transmitted through close contact among cats, such as sharing food bowls, cat fights, or from a mother to her kittens. Since natural resistance to the virus can develop with age, kittens are at the highest risk for infection. Jinx may be at risk since he's a cat, but humans and other animals cannot be infected. First, let's find out if either Bucky or Felix have the infection. I recommend that we collect blood to screen them for the disease. Then we can discuss vaccinations against FELV and other feline viruses. Bucky, Felix, Dr. Garcia is going to perform some tests so we know what vaccines you may need. It's okay, be brave. This will only take a few minutes and it's faster if you don't squirm. Bucky tested positive for the FELV infection. I'm going to recommend we send out for a test to give us some more information about this preliminary result, also known as a PCR test. It's important to understand the stage of infection and what potential there is for signs of the disease to develop over time. If the PCR is positive, then we'll retest Bucky again in 30 days. I'm going to give them both the FVRCP vaccine today. It will protect them against three common and potentially fatal viruses. Felix tested negative for FELV and will receive his first FELV vaccine today. We'll retest him again in 30 days. We can discuss vaccinating Bucky against FELV when his PCR results are back. What about Jinx? Since it's time for his annual wellness exam, bring Jinx in next week and we'll make sure his vaccinations are up to date. Until we have Bucky's PCR results, let's keep him separated from Jinx. The key thing to remember is that even if Bucky has FELV, we can give him the best chance to stay healthy for a long time if we continue to monitor him regularly. Also, vaccinating Bucky and Felix against FELV is recommended to help protect them against possible infection. I'll see you again in a month's time to retest both kittens for FELV, and I'll call you with the PCR results for Bucky in a few days. I can't wait to see Jinx next week.